Okay, this is inside the boat. <coughs> um, that's a bit of a storage cupboard down the back there. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with that space yet, but <coughs> could be a hanging wardrobe or something like that. That's uh, that's the radio there. It's the VHF radio. The barometer. These are the shelves for the plates. Um, it's a nice clear window that one, isn't it? Almost as clear as that one. Just replacing that glass or that that uh, plastic in there. Um, it's the fridge, the stove, and underneath here is where all the stuff gets thrown. Let's put the light on. And uh, you can see right down the back of the boat there. Turn the light off again. <clears throat> That's the position of the dinghy when there's not too much uh, wave action because otherwise the um, the waves hit underneath the trampoline and smash the dinghy, so where, where there's big waves we have the dinghy up on the front. This is the, the centerboard that uh, I've been talking about for a while. It's um, three meters long. It's about um, almost 100 mils wide, just four inches. See it in the in the hole there, and those are the solar panels. I'll get them on poles so that um, I can um, angle them in towards the sun and get a bit more power if I'm really wanting to get as much power out of them as as possible. Up here we have uh, a bridle on the anchor line that just. Um, stops the boat from turning from side to side as much and keeps it nice and straight into the wind. Here we are in Refuge Bay. Beautiful day. A few boats around. It's high tide now. And uh, this is all going to be sand flats and another six hours time very beautiful spot okay so uh, okay I don't think I have much more to show you at the moment this is my um, my water system here um, it's a temporary arrangement there's the water pump there um, that's the water this was going to be our our shower, but the boat water system broke down and it was commandeered for the, the main system. So there's my new window there and the new one that's going to be put in shortly. got 300 watts of uh, solar panels which is um, enough to run the fridge in the freezer this one here has got uh, celastic covering on it because as you can see it's the glass was broken so one day a big gust of wind came when I had it sitting on top of the, the bimini here and it flipped it over and smashed the glass so I've just put a coating of celastic on that and um, it's working fine just puts out as much power as the the one next to it so a uh, bit of a bit of luck there that it kept on going uh, all the panels are not facing in the sun at the moment because we've just we just turned around I'll just quickly show you my battery box uh, that's rainwater there to fill the batteries up with that's my blanket that I put over the cabin when it's cold Cut down the condensation, and these are the batteries in here. So they're 
general, uh, there's six six volt batteries in there. So um, got quite a bit of capacity there. So it keeps the fridge and the freezer running overnight. There's the got green light there. Shows that the batteries are fully charged at the moment. And I just put to put this stuff back in here. Oh, life boy's seen uh, better days. Still, still floats full of foam. And the last thing I'll show you is under here we have the boarding ladder. So I just put that ladder down and uh, just using that uh, cleat there and that way we can get into the water and probably see the bottom down there at the moment. Um, it's only about it's only about uh, five foot deep here at the moment. Yeah, so uh, that's the boarding ladder on that side. On this side here is the uh, outboard motor. There it is. Yeah. Eight horsepower mariner. Okay. Um, I don't know that there's much to show you on this side. It's my bunk there. So. That's about it.